Hey guys. So I am out here on this beautiful Memorial Day. It's not sunny outside, but it's actually pretty windy. But it feels good out here, and that's a good thing for Texas because it's usually hot. But I'm just sitting out here and just wanted to give you guys what the Lord downloaded on my heart, um, some scriptures that he downloaded on my heart today, which kind of coincide with um, the video that I posted yesterday about how God is about to part the Red Seas for us and allow us to walk through on dry grounds. Um, so he kind of backed that, that scripture up, and I didn't realize until like a few minutes ago that the scripture actually um, coincides with um, Exodus 14, 21. Um, so I want to share that with you guys. And then I also wanted to share a dream. I think I want to share the dream. Um, we'll just let the Holy Spirit lead there. But things are shifting, guys. Things are shifting. Things are changing. There's a lot going on that we don't see. A lot of covert operations which are hidden hidden things you know things that God is doing behind the scene and there's a lot of that going on right now like there really is um and I know we feel like we don't see anything so nothing's happening but that's so far from the truth like God is literally working on our behalf behind the scenes and things are about to shake up like the month of June is going to be um a month of the new, of new things, new ventures, new starts. It's a month of new. Um, I feel it in my spirit. Like, and I feel like it's going to be a, a really good thing. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to literally come on here and say hi to you guys and just give an encouraging word, um, a prophetic word that God put on my heart. Um, but yeah, let me go into this dream that I had on May the 3rd. I had this dream the day before my birthday. And I dreamed that I was in a gas station. I walked in a gas station and um, there was this guy checking out at the counter. He was checking out, purchasing, whatever he was getting. But when I walked through the door, he kind of like stopped in his tracks. Like he literally stopped in his tracks and he was just staring at me. And I got what I was going to get and got behind him in the line. And he had like tattoos on his body that said, um, one said faith, one said hope, one said love. And then he had some other tattoos, but faith, hope, and love is what I noticed first. And he was just like staring at me and then this lady comes to me and she's like let me interpret for you what's going on so basically she's she starts to interpret my dream as I'm in my dream which is the weirdest thing that I've ever encountered and I um I dream a lot and you guys know I dream a lot because I talk about it in my videos like I am a dreamer God speaks to me a whole lot through dreams um, so majority of my dreams are very spiritual and this just happened to be one of them but she literally starts to interpret my dream in my dream and she goes let me tell you the reason why this guy is looking at you like this she's like um he's looking at you like that because he sees faith hope and love within you um it's not like your outer appearance but he sees these three qualities in you and he he's just taken aback by those qualities so i'm like okay and then she goes and i don't know if i told you last time but your financial situation is about to change she's like there's going to be a lot of canceled debts she's like your financial situation is about to change drastically um, and she was just saying, like, money will no longer be an issue. And she's going into, like, this whole spill about just, like, financial abundance. And I woke up. So when I woke up, the first thing I did, I'm just like, thank you, God. Like, something is about to happen. Like, something literally is about to shift. Right? And I've been knowing this for a while now. Like, I've been feeling it in my spirit. The Lord has been downloading information to my spirit and I knew like changes were happening, like changes were coming. But it's different when 
you get that confirmation, that dream confirmation. And mind you, a lot of the dreams God gives you, they're not all for the future. Like they can be for a future date, but God is a God of suddenly. Um, so when he does a thing suddenly, he does it pretty fast. Um, but I just felt it. I was like, okay, Lord, things are shifting. And then like the words that he's been downloading to me recently about just like the parting of the Red Seas, like you're about to walk through on dry ground. And he's like, the enemies you see today, you will see no more. And just download after download after download. Like this whole week, I kid you not, since the 21st um, of this month, and 2-1 means like manifestation, like God's manifestation, biblically. That's what that number means. And I'll do a video. I'm going to start to do some videos about... Um, biblical numbers and the meaning and so forth because I think that'll be helpful for a lot of people that um, get messages from God and he speaks through numbers like he speaks through all different avenues that's why we cannot put him in a box as to how he speaks to us it's not just going to be through a prophetic word or through a dream all the time he uses different avenues to speak to all of us um including his own voice in which I've heard his voice before like out loud as I'm awake um, I've had visions as well. So just keep in mind, like there's so many different avenues that the Lord can use to speak to us. And he's just not a one track God, like he's strategic. He's so strategic and we cannot box him in. <clears throat> but anyway, he's just been giving a lot of downloads and I know that there's just shaking. Um, I just had a dream a few days ago about an alarm going off and I talked about that in one of my um, other videos. Like I woke up to like an alarm going off and I walk, walked into my living room and I'm walking towards the kitchen and the Holy Spirit tells me to look at the clock on the stove and it's 11, 12. Um, so I knew just based on that dream that I had a few days ago, like an alarm was like, okay, something's about to happen. Like something like this is, this things are getting started. Like this is it like he's about to make a move and I knew that's what that meant and since that day it's just been revelation after revelation after revelation um I even had a dream last night that I won't talk about right now I'll just wait for the Holy Spirit to um lead me into when I should talk about that dream if at all because that was a very personal dream for me um but anyway he is speaking things are shaking up things are changing you may not see it in the natural but everything that happens in the natural has to be created in the spirit first in the spiritual realm um so it's spiritual things are birthed spiritually and then the lord allows it to happen naturally just like before we were even formed in our mother's womb, like he had already created us spiritually, like he knew us in the spirit. So anything that happens in the natural realm has to be created in the spiritual realm first. So just because you don't see a thing doesn't mean that nothing's happening. He's just working behind the scene and he's waiting for an appointed time for whatever it is that he's working on for you to be revealed to you. Um, so I just want to read a few verses that he gave me this morning, which actually um, pertain to the parting of the Red Seas when he parted the seas, um, the sea for the Israelites to walk through on dry ground. And believe it or not, these scriptures are in Psalms. But if you listen to Psalm 66, if you listen to the scriptures, you'll know that they're from Exodus. If you've ever read the book of Exodus or Exodus um, 14, if you've read Exodus 14, you'll know that the scriptures are from there. Um, so I'm just going to read them to you guys. Um, and I'm reading from my Thrive Bible. This is a New Living Translation. So Psalm 66 verses 10 through 12, which is what he gave me and 10, 11, 12, that's a very significant date for me, um, too. So, again, God is strategic. We can't box him. Like, he uses everything, and I do mean everything, to speak to his children. Um, but it says, You have tested us, O God. You have purified us like silver. You captured us in your net and laid the burden of slavery on our backs. Then you put a leader over us. They're speaking of Moses. 
we went through fire and flood, but you brought us to a place of great abundance. Guys, like those few scriptures, those three scriptures are very, very, very powerful. And they speak volumes to me because I too have been through the fire. My faith ha has been tested. Like these seasons have had ups. They've also had downs. But throughout every season that I've been through, like the Lord has made promises to me, so many promises. And it's so amazing when you know that you're on the brink of those promises coming to pass. Like this, this is exciting. Like there's so many things happening. Um, you guys know, like even in my previous video, like I posted a video about my book being picked up in the month of April. So that's being edited and published. And I'm just excited about that. I'm moving to God knows where, but my apartment is packed up and I know like a move is coming. Um, so that was another faith move, but I heard the Lord say like, pack your bags. And when he says pack your bags, you don't ask questions, you just do it. So that move is exciting. And then just like my career and just everything, like there's so many great things happening. And that scripture, those scriptures, um, and again, that's chapter 66 of Psalms verses 10 through 12. Like they speak volumes to me because in, in verse 12, it says, then you put a leader over us. We went through the fire and the flood, but you brought us into a place of great abundance. That means that the, the trials are done. This season of trials is finished. Now, does that mean that we won't encounter any other trials? No, but what it does mean is that this season of trials and tribulations and being tested, it's coming to an end and it's time for us to push and give birth, to push our way through and finish strong and give birth to the Lord's promises and just to walk into the next season, to walk through this door that he's open for us it's not a door that we have to open and this word may not be for everybody so test it um, through the spirit um talk to god take it to god um because every prophetic word is not for everybody but those that it's for you'll know that it's for you it serves as confirmation but it's it's coming to an end the trials the tribulations for this season they're ending now, will we have to encounter more trials and tribulations? Yeah, that just comes with life. Like, we live in a fallen world. Um, so you guys can blame Adam and Eve for eating that apple or the fruit, because it does not say that it was an apple. It says it was a piece of fruit in the Bible, in King James Version. But we just say apple. But anyway, we live in a fallen world, so hard times will always exist. But when you partner with God in your walk, like those hard times will never overtake you. And at the end of it, you'll always have like abundance overflowing, like your blessings will overflow. Like you get to reap the reward at the end if you faint not. So I hope this message blesses somebody. I hope you guys are having a good Memorial Day and be blessed. Bye.